Hello and welcome to the Missouri Gymnastics News Network. This past Friday in St. Charles, Missouri, the 15th ranked Missouri Tigers gymnastics team took on number one Oklahoma, number two LSU, and number nine Georgia. Mizzou would go on to score a season high 196.35 in the meet. The Tigers opened up the night on bars, where four of the gymnasts would score a 9.8 or better. The team would tally a 49.1, which is the second highest bar score this year. Shauna Miller had the team high with a score of 9.875, followed by Brittany Ward and Madeline Huber, who both scored 9.85 on the event. Next up, the Tigers went to Beam, where the team would again score a 49.1. This time it was Ward and Becca Shugel who led their teammates with a pair of 9.85s. Brooke Kelly would add to the Tigers' performance with her score of 9.825. In the third rotation, the Tigers took to the floor exercise, where the team notched a 48.95. Led by junior standout Kennedy Harris, who would turn in a 9.9 .9 routine. This is the fifth time this season Harris has scored 9.9 .9 or better. Shugel was the only other Tiger to break the 9.8 barrier with her 9.825 routine. Closing the night out on vault, the Tigers posted a meat-high 49.2 on the event. Freshman Aspen Tucker would lead Mizzou with a season-high 9.925. Brittany Ward anchored the rotation with a 9.875. This week, the national rankings switched to regional qualifying scores, or RQS. Instead of simply averaging all of the team's scores to find the rankings, teams take their six best regular season scores, three of them must be an away score, and they drop the high, average the remaining five. This is how the current rankings are figured, and also how regional qualifying is determined. The top 36 teams in the country will qualify for a regional meet, and then that decides who makes nationals. The Tigers' RQS is 196.02 which moves them into the 13th spot in this week's rankings. This Friday, the Tigers travel to Gainesville, Florida to take on number three ranked Florida Gators. The meet will be at 6 p.m. Central Time and will be live on the SEC Network. This week's Routine of the Week goes to freshman Aspen Tucker for her vault. Tucker competes a Yurchenko layout full. Congratulations, Aspen. Here with head coach Shannon Welker. Coach, thanks for coming in today. Yeah, thanks, Scott. Now, this past weekend, the team got to perform on a podium uh, right. meet. So tell us a little bit about how they reacted to performing on the podium. Right. Well, I think they did great there, and I thought the the level of competition was fantastic. I mean, we had the number one ranked team, number two ranked team, number 10, and then obviously our former 15, which was us. Uh, and I thought that was really awesome to get in a quad format and then – uh, to be able to rotate with that level of intensity and then with a great crowd and then, and then on podium as well. So it was, it was a lot of fun. And great prep for the postseason meets. <clears throat> Absolutely. Great prep for uh, postseason SECs and regionals and, uh, you know, hopefully nationals. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, we've just switched over to the RQS, the regional qualifying right. score. Now, it obviously affected our ranking. Can you tell us a little bit about how that RQS plays into the ranking? <clears throat> sure. I, I think what the, the RQS does is it kind of throws out the outlier scores quite a bit, and, uh, and, and it accounts for you know kind of a little more of a normalized score. Um, it also benefits teams that have been a little more consistent and that are stronger on the road. So like this week, we moved up a couple of spots because I think we do a real nice job when we go on the road competitions, and we're pretty consistent. I think this team, one thing that sticks out to me is their mm -hmm. consistency this year, like you said. Uh, the scores do not range very far. It's nice tight packing of right. the scores you've had. Right, yeah, and I think that's good. And I really feel like we've got uh, an even higher level we can get to as well. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And this weekend, heading to number three, Florida. Yep. Uh, something a little bit different about the traveling to this meet. You want to talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we get to charter a couple times a year, and this is one of those. We're going to take our own a team plane down to, to Florida, and we're going to head down there. So it really is nice because we get to attend most of our classes on Thursday, actually all of our classes Thursday. Uh, and then we'll sleep in our own beds. We'll just head back right after the meet on Friday night, and we'll be back sleeping in our own rooms on, uh, on Friday night. So it, it really makes it a little bit nicer, especially this time of year. You get deep in into the season, uh, you know, and academics are cranked up as well. And so it lets us get a little more rest. Quick competition, mm -hmm. get in, get out, take care of business, right? That's right. All right. Yeah. Well, good luck this weekend. Thanks, Scott. Thanks.
Welcome to Sparkles and Spandex with Coach Casey Joe McPherson. How you doing, Coach? Doing great. How about you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for coming. Good. What are they going to be wearing this weekend as you guys take on number three, Florida? At Florida, our team's going to be wearing the Constellation Leo. So I think they'll be pretty excited. It's one of our favorites. It's got the silver on top, but of course has the black and gold. And then we have the tiger head on the back. So... All of the Leos have some sort of Mizzou on them, right? Yes, exactly. Whether a tiger head or the word or whatever. Yep. That's awesome. Well, I think they're going to look great. Good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. That's all for this week on MGNN. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And until then, M-I-Z.